Hey, what's going on guys? This is P. Sharma from Speed Academy and in this video we are going to be talking about your specificity and your pseudo selectors. So, what is specificity? As, as the name suggests, specific. Specificity it means specific. So, uh, specificity is a way which helps you to uh, which tells you how to use your selector and as you know in the previous two or three videos I've been talking about the selectors so you are now familiar with the selector and how to use them so a uh, specific specificity is a way which tells you um, which uh, the power of your selectors means every selector has some different powers to override the styles of one another so that's all I'm going to talking about in this video that which special um, which uh, element or which class which ID or whatever this stuff having the power to override each other style so first as you can see I have created a HTML file and I have also linked my CSS file over here and now what I'm do I'm going to just show you the output first and then we will move on to your styling part as you can see I have created one h1 tag over here and with the class name your header dash one and another h1 tag over here with the class name h header one and the same class name and I have given an ID to it with the name of your ID is header two header dash two you can give a number of IDs and your class to your elements in a HTML it doesn't matter uh, you can use any number of class and IDs for spe uh, for specific reasons for as per the requirement and all, and all so now what I'm going to do I'm going to show you the output and after that we will move on a starting part so as you can see I have not styled any of the your fonts or your anything so here I've just resized the image I have used the style in the image because the image size is too big so I have to resize this so now what I'm going to do I'm going to just go in my styling part and start styling you can see over here I have one h1 tag so I'm gonna set, target my h1 tag over here so I'm gonna grab my h1 element so h1 and then I'm gonna change this color to something called red and after that you can see my output when I launch it with open live server that my all h1 tag has this, uh, got a color of your red so now what I do I'm gonna just override this color by using some different uh, selectors so as you can see all over here that I have also assigned a class header one and now what the class mean a class has a power to override the style of your direct element I hope you might not understand this is what I said to you so let me clear you uh, uh, your class has a more power to power to override the styles of your direct elements as you can see I have targeted your h1 tag over here directly I have not used any class or IDs or anything so if I use a cl cl class of it which is header one so it will gonna override your uh, color of your whatever h1 element so as you can see in the output after saving this that my h1 tag with this class name uh, header1 has changed has got a color change because the class has a more power to overwrite your styles uh, direct element styles now the we are left with two more powerful uh, selectors which have the power to overwrite your class and your direct child so first is your id selector and now what is your ID selectors so as you can see I have given an ID to it and if you are not familiar with the ID and your direct child or class or any any kind of selector then you can just go click over the I button over the top and you can get a video on your selectors and different types of selection selectors so now what I'm do I'm gonna just grab my ID over here so for grabbing an ID I have to put the pound sign your hash sign and now what I'm do, I'm gonna write my name of your ID, which is header two. And now I'm gonna specify a color of your for anything. I'm gonna just specify the any color to it. And after then saving it, 
you can see over here my ID has overwritten the style of your h1 element and as you can see over here I have specified a red color which is overwritten by a class and now your class color is also overwritten by your ID which is your any color in the chat is you reuse or whatever it is you can see over here and now we are left with the last one uh, which is, is your inline styling which has the most powerful to overwrite any of any kind of style you given in your external CSS file so for inline styling you have to come in your h1 element and just after the class you have to write the word style and in between the quotations you can just write the style whatever you want i'm going to change this color to uh, for example i'm going to change this color to which is more visible to you i guess this might be so now what i can do is gonna uh overwrite all of your style as you can see i have given one red color style which is your direct uh in which i have targeted your direct element and I have given your blue color in which I have targeted your class and I have used the third criteria in which I have used your ID to target your change your color of your H1 tag. So now what it, what is gonna do with your, your inline styling is going to overwrite all your these styles. So after this, you just save this and just you can see on my output that now my H1 tag color has got changed over here. So many times in uh, designing a web page, you, you will face a problem that you have to overwrite certain styles. So then you have to use this specificity criteria for overwriting your style. I hope you guys understand the concept of specificity. And now we are going, we are moving on your pseudo selectors. So pseudo selectors are advanced selectors of your CSS a path and which helps you to uh, generally we are going to uh, use them a lot in animations in future videos so now for in this video I'm going to just show you some basic pseudo selectors so as you can see over here I have created a I, I have one h1 tag over here it's, as you can see over here I have one h1 tag what I'm do, I'm gonna just grab my H1 two element, H1 element, and now for using the pseudo selectors, which is start with your colon sign, and after the colon you have to write the pseudo selector. So for example, I'm gonna give a hover hover. It is an example of your pseudo selector. Hover is an example of pseudo selector. And now what hover does? It hover means means whenever you take your cursor on your H1, it's gonna style whatever style you have given in the in this uh, parenthesis oh, sorry in this curly parenthesis so I'm gonna change this color for example to your crimson and uh, sorry white and I'm gonna change this background sorry I'm gonna change this background to something I can say dark magenta so it is quite visible to you after this just save the file and now you can see in my output nothing has changed but when I take my mouse cursor on it then you can see that it is changing over here and now you are might asking that why my color doesn't change over here well, because I, as you can see I have specify uh, your console color but it doesn't get changed over here because I have start I have uh, given some this part this part <laughs> this styling which is uh, inheriting your which is overriding your this color so now you can see when i took my uh, this over here this color got changed okay we have we have given a st inline styling over here that's why this is this is the problem which we are facing over here so now i have removed it and now you can see in my output after saving this that this color got changed whenever I take the cursor on it. So this is a one example of your pseudo selector and now let's just move on to some other examples of your pseudo selectors. So as you can see over here I have created a uh, list uh, I have created a list over here on our list and 
what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna target uh, this child and your different. This, this is uh, I'm gonna target your chi this child, a light child of your UL tag in different ways. So, what are the different ways to target the same child or different childs? So, that's all that all we are going to talk in this. So, as you can see, I'm just go come on your styling part and after. Coming style part, for example, I'm gonna write something called li, and then I'm gonna write your first child. Okay, and what is me? Uh, it's gonna style your first child of your li tag. As you can see over here, my first child is web designer, so it is only going to style my first child over here. So, for example, I just give a color to it of your any color. So after saving this, you can see only my first child over here has the change in the color. And now, similarly, you can just change it the first child to your last child. And now the color of last child got changed over here. And the general format of doing this is you can use the nth child criteria. So this is your nth child. And in between this uh, parenthesis, you can use, uh, you can specify a number which child you want to target. For example, we have how many child? Let's see. You can see we have one, two, three, four, or five child over here. So what I'm do? I'm gonna just change this. I'm gonna target the third child. So I have written the word three, uh, number three, and just saved it. And you can see in the output, my third child is now targeted over here. The color is not visible so let me change the color so it is quite visible to you i guess so i'm gonna change it to yellow as it's quite visible to you okay now the color is visible but not that i'm gonna change this background also background to red okay now it is quite visible you can see it has targeted my third chat Similarly, you can target any number of child by just using the any child property over here. So now what I'm do, I'm gonna move in your some uh, different pseudo selectors and another pseudo selector example. So uh, as you can see in my output, I have chosen one H1 anchor tag over here, and I have given a your address to it, which will uh, take you to the Google whenever I click on the Google your this this one. So let me connect it to my Wi-Fi first. Huh? Let's just wait for a second. Let me connect it to my Wi-Fi. Okay. Let's just connect it. Okay. You can see I have given um I have a specifier anchor tag over here. Now I'm gonna uh, style it. So come in the styling part and I'm gonna style my this. So for this, I'm gonna just change this background to your purple, and I'm gonna change this text color to your sorry, color to white, and I'm gonna give this border radius of five pixels, twenty-five pixels. And I'm changing its width to 150, 100 pixels. Okay, you can see I have now just increase the font size. Let's just increase the font size first. And till then, I have not using the pseudo selector over here, so don't worry about it. Okay, now it is quite visible to you all. Okay. So now what I'm do, I'm gonna just uh, use some different selector, pseudo selectors which are related to your anchor tag only. So first is your, uh, let's just go ahead and, and I, I'm go, so for just using pseudo selector, we have to put the colon and after, just after the colon, we have to write the word link and sorry and another one, another one is your a and visit it and now what your link and visit mean link means before visiting the link 
uh, you have not clicked on your link the before that the properties before that and a related mean if you have clicked once the property uh, of your anchor tag got changed over there so as you can see I have giving it a color of your so any I'm going just giving it color of blue and I'm going to change the background to your green green yellow and I'm going to give my same the color over here for example gray and this is the black background to black let's start okay so now you can see over here I have just I have clicked over it or something like that I guess I have you can see I have come over here and now you can see over here wait for a second guys okay I have to remove this part yes, as, as you can see over here I have visited the link already so I can't go previous in time that's why it is already black in color that's why it is inheriting the property this property visited property because before starting this tutorial I have already visited the link for before that's why it is not inheriting the properties over here and it is only going to inherit your different property so if I want to change the uh, this uh, black color to any then I have to go in my HTML code and I have to change my uh, this your this address from here that then only you can change the style part but it only change for once because whenever a, you click on a your anchor tag it is going to assign it the color of this uh, color of gray and your background of this uh, black so these are this is uh, these are your some pseudo selectors some